The overall goal of this protocol is to demonstrate the purification, site-directed spin labeling, and reconstitution of a pentameric ligand-gated channel for electron paramagnetic resonance studies. Studying membrane protein dynamics in a physiologically relevant environment is crucial to fully understand how these membrane transport protein works. And because of these needs, I think um, site-directed spin labeling and EPR technique is ideally suited. The main advantage of this technique is that it's not limited by the size of the protein. Therefore, site-directed spin labeling and EPR spectroscopy would be a technique of choice if you're wanting to study uh, large protein dynamics or proteins reconstituted in membranes. Introduce single cysteine mutations in the Glick gene by site-directed mutagenesis. Set up an overnight culture of the Glick cysteine mutant as described in the text protocol. Next, add 100 milliliters of sterile potassium phosphate buffer to the autoclaved terrific broth media. Then, add sterile glucose, canamycin, and 10 milliliters of the overnight culture. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius in a shaker at 250 RPM. Add 50 milliliters of glycerol and continue shaking the culture until the optical density at 600 nanometers reaches 1.0 to 1.2. After inducing the cells with 200 micromolar IPTG, reset the shaker back to 250 RPM and incubate further for approximately 16 hours at 18 degrees Celsius. Harvest the cells in 1 liter centrifuge bottles by spinning at 8500 times G, 4 degrees Celsius, for 15 minutes. 